Why you believe the answer to this is to arm teachers? Well, the alternative is what we have seen, where people were reduced to waiting to be murdered without able to, being able to do anything effective to protect themselves or the adults to protect the children. So it, it seems so obvious that it, since we have concealed carry laws in all of our country now, people can get a concealed firearm, and yet we have laws that say that not in schools. And so in the very places that have been sought out by monsters, such as the murderer of these adults and children, we're saying, no, we don't want you to be able to defend yourself. It's better that you just sit there and wait to be killed. And we find that morally uh, incomprehensible and deeply disturbing that the desire to defend life has been so cast aside into whatever political correctness views guns as uh, the ultimate evil. Evil's in our hearts, not in the guns. Um, my name is Hen Zanong. Forgive me, English is not my first language. I am a legal immigrant and I am an American by choice. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to express my opinion and give my testimony in opposition to the majority of the proposed bills which do nothing to deter future crimes. Gun control does not work. Your own history is replete with um, high school rifle teams, Boy Scout, marksmanship merit badges. You could buy rifles at the hardware stores. You could order them, mail order, delivered to your home. Your country was awash in readily available firearms and ammunition. And yet, in your past, you did not have mass school shootings. Other people have already expressed the question, what changed? It was not that the availability of guns suddenly exploded or in, in, uh, increased. It actually was decreased. What was changed was societal decay. Why he's such a defender of the right to bear arms? Well, I give up my gun when everybody else does. And is that Doesn't your... that make sense? Well, <laughs> Doesn't that make sense? I mean, if you were to, if, if there were guns here, would you be on to be the only person without one? So, you, so, so do you carry guns Not routinely at home? I mean, you have, gun, you have a gun at home? Yeah, it's legal in the United States. It's part of our Constitution. You know, the right to bear arms is because that's the last form of defense against tyranny. Judge Andrew Kozniski, uh, in Sylvia v. Lockyer, uh, 2003. My excellent colleagues have forgotten these bitter lessons of history. The, projects, the prospect of tyranny may not grab the headlines the way vivid stories of gun crime usually do, but few saw the Third Reich coming until it was too late. The Second Amendment is a doomsday provision, one designed only for those exceptionally rare circumstances when all other rights have failed. A free people can only afford to make this mistake once. What we do know is that when you go to an area in the United States where guns are, are freely available, readily able to be carried legally, there you find our lowest murder rates, lower than the murder rates in Europe. You go to our cities where we have cracked down on guns and people can't defend themselves and that's where the criminals have a field how day. Many, how many guns? If gun control actually did work, Washington DC and Chicago would be the safest cities in your nation, but it is not. They have the toughest gun laws and the highest crime and murder rates. I would Not challenge you to go and tell the Korean merchants who survived the riots in Los Angeles, sorry you had those firearms Can you answer that my saved question? your lives. I'm answering your question. I wish you could understand it. Because you're would talking you like to against see, Would you like to see, would you're you talking like to see, against people being would you able like to, to protect see teachers themselves. Armed and you don't want to hear it. That's why you keep in. No, no, I don't mind hearing it. Whether we believe in our capacity for self-government or whether we abandon the American Revolution and confess that a little intellectual elite in a far distant capital can plan our lives for us better than we can plan them ourselves. The Department of Homeland Security has stated that a rifle chambered in 556 NATO with a 30 round magazine is suitable for personal defensive use. I have documentation on that. It is HSCEMS-1212-00011, solicitation for the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency. 
Now, who needs an AR-15 with 30 round mags? That question has also been brought up. And I would like to put forward that had the Koreans in the LA riots not had AR-15s and AK-47s with 30 round magazines and Ruger 30s, their businesses would have been burned to the ground like all of the other businesses in their neighborhoods. Theirs stood because they stood their ground. Give us more authority and more ability. All of this talk about uh, rules, we make them up as we go along. A government can't control the economy without controlling people. And they know when a government sets out to do that, it must use force and coercion to achieve its purpose. Put the legislation together to control the people. We go through the gate, the gate's closed, we'll go over the fence, the fence is too high, we'll pull vault in, if that doesn't work, we'll parachute in, but we're going to get health care reform passed. They also knew, those founding fathers, that outside of its legitimate functions, government does nothing as well or as economically as the private sector of the economy. There needs to be a focus on a, uh, an immediate increase in spending. I mean, I, I do think at a certain point you've made enough money. The more the plans fail, the more the planners plan. You're telling me we got to go spend money to keep from going bankrupt? The answer, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. We have so many people who can't see a fat man standing beside a thin one without coming to the conclusion the fat man got that way by taking advantage of the thin one. I think there are a lot of very rich people out there whom we can tax at a, at a point down the road and recover some of this money. The trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant. It's just that they know so much that isn't so. They'll be crying out for public options. It's the cost, I think, of having uh, the kind of America that we want to have. Our natural unalienable rights are now considered to be a dispensation of government. And freedom has never been so fragile, so close to slipping from our grasp as it is at this moment. I don't worry about the Constitution on this, to be honest. What good is reading the bill if it's a thousand pages? We have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Those voices don't speak for the rest of us. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth. There have been times where America's shown arrogance. Well, I think it's time we ask ourselves if we still know the freedoms that were intended for us by the founding fathers. Our country is in danger but not to be despaired of. On you depend the fortunes of America. You are to decide the important question which, upon which rests the happiness and the liberty of millions yet unborn. Act worthy of yourselves. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end, my only friend. The end. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. Tyranny, like hell, is not easily conquered. Yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. A thousand years hence, perhaps less, America may be what Europe now is. The innocence of her character that won the hearts of all nations in her favor may sound like a romance, and her inimitable virtue as if it had never been. When we contemplate the fall of empires and the extinction of the nations of the ancient world, we see but little more to excite our regret than the mouldering ruins of pompous palaces, magnificent monuments, lofty pyramids, and walls and towers of the most costly workmanship. But when the empire of America shall fall, the subject for contemplative sorrow will be infinitely greater. It will not then be said, here stood a temple of vast antiquity, but here, our painful thought, the noblest work of human wisdom, the grandest scene of human glory, the fair cause of freedom rose and fell. In this 
this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem.